Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Poison, and today we're going to be talking about the arpeggiator and also the MIDI section. So the arpeggiator down here, and then the MIDI section on the uh, top left-hand side here, or kind of top mid-left-hand side. So let's go to an init preset here, and let's take a look at this arpeggiator. So there's a couple cool options you have here, and it's very standard. It's kind of similar to the one up here if you hit this gear and then this wrench here. You have an arpeggiator built into it. But uh, what's kind of nice about this one here is that it's built into the synth. So when you save the presets, it's generally going to follow. Or if you save it and give it to a friend, then that's going to follow as well. So something to keep in mind. So first off, let's go to up here. So if you play a chord, it's just going to play sequence over and over going up. And then down, it's going to play downwards. There's up and down. And then a random. And then next over here, you got the range. So it's, this is going to tell you how many octaves it's going to go up. So one is just going to stay in that octave itself. It's going to slow this down. It's a little too fast here. And then if we go to two, and then three. And I'm sure you can guess what four is. And then over here on the right, you have the tempo sync, as you probably see me just use it. You can choose how fast you want it or slow you want it based on the tempo of the song. If you want to go really fast. So it's generally a pretty cool built-in feature here. That's kind of all there is to it. It's very simplistic, kind of straightforward to... Uh, kind of get your feet into the arpeggiator a little bit. And then let's go to options, reset program, and let's talk about the MIDI section here. So here you have the mod wheel destinations, which is this modulation wheel down here or on your keyboard. Now this can control the cutoff, the LFO, frequency A, uh, pulse width A, and pulse width A and B. So an easy demonstration is gonna, be, is gonna be on the cutoff. So let's bring this cutoff, maybe around here or so. And then the modulation amount, so if it's at zero, so that means that the mod wheel is going to have no effect. Now let's turn this all the way to the right. Now basically, the distance here, so let's turn this back to off right here. So if we notice this cutoff value here, let's remember the sound. And let's turn this all the way up. It's going to sound the same. But when we go all the way to the top, that's going to open up the filter. So if we want to have a more drastic effect, maybe we want the whole cutoff to be controlled by this modulation wheel. Let's bring this all the way down. Now we have a large range to work with. And then you can adjust this to say to set your limit. And the modulation wheel here is also a negative control, so it goes backwards in that sense. So depending on how you want to use that, you can customize it that way. And the last thing, uh, last things last, I guess, uh, we have this pitch bend, pitch bend range here, which is going to be the next slider here. So that's only going up one semitone. Now we can set this to an octave or really anywhere in between. So maybe up only a fifth. But that's if you're going to be going up. If you want to go down, you want to go five. Something to keep in mind. So that was the arpeggiator and the MIDI section. And we'll see you in the next one.